an international team of astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have uncovered gravitationally bound star clusters within a galaxy that existed when the universe was merely 460 million years old. Imagine peering back nearly to the universe's inception, witnessing the cosmos in its infancy. This isn't science fiction. It's the reality brought to us by Webb. In this video, we will discuss this incredible voyage across the universe, unraveling the secrets of its earliest stars, and perhaps uncovering the origins of everything we know. Our story begins with an extraordinary feat of astronomical detective work by Webb. Tasked with peering back into the very dawn of the universe, the latest revelation concerns the Cosmic Gems Arc, a galaxy observed as it existed just 460 million years post Big Bang. Within this galaxy, astronomers have identified what are now considered the universe's oldest known star clusters. But how did they accomplish this? And why is it a breakthrough? The discovery was facilitated by Webb's near-infrared capability. Equipped with a suite of sophisticated instruments, the telescope can observe objects whose light has been stretched or redshifted to longer infrared wavelengths by the expanding universe. This ability is crucial because it allows Webb to look further back in time than ever before. These early star clusters provide a window into the nascent stages of galactic formation. Star clusters, as we know, are conglomerations of stars bound together by gravity. In our own galaxy, the Milky Way, we observe two types of clusters. Open clusters, which are loose groups of several hundred stars, and globular clusters, which are tightly packed groups of tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of stars. The clusters observed by Webb in the Cosmic Gems Arc are thought to be ancestors of globular clusters, offering a rare glimpse into how such structures may have formed in the universe's earliest epochs. The importance of this discovery cannot be overstated. These clusters are not only ancient, but also massively influential in the context of cosmic evolution. By studying them, astronomers can learn about the conditions that prevailed in early galaxies and how they influenced the development of larger structures. It was previously thought that in such early times, the universe's chemistry and environmental conditions might not have supported the formation of such densely packed star clusters. The presence of these clusters suggests that star formation was not only possible, but also prolific, leading to rapid galactic evolution. To fully grasp the significance of Webb's discovery, we must first delve into what star clusters are and their role in the tapestry of the universe. Star clusters, essentially celestial nurseries, play a pivotal role in our understanding of stellar evolution. They are classified into two primary types, open clusters and globular clusters, each showcasing unique characteristics and offering insights into different aspects of cosmic history. Open clusters are relatively young, loosely bound groups of stars that number in the hundreds. An excellent example of an open cluster is the Pleiades, visible to the naked eye in the night sky. These stars are born together from the same giant molecular clouds and are crucial for studying the formation and evolution of stars under similar conditions. They also tend to disperse over time due to gravitational interactions and the dynamic processes within the galaxy. On the other hand, globular clusters are ancient, densely packed collections of tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of stars, which orbit the galactic core. An example is Omega Centauri, which is almost as old as the universe itself and provides a snapshot of the early, relatively undeveloped universe. These clusters are extremely valuable for studying the conditions and processes of the early cosmos because they have survived multiple epochs of the galaxy's evolution. Understanding these clusters helps astronomers study how stars evolve from gas and dust into diverse stellar communities that significantly influence their environments. Each cluster type tells a different story of cosmic longevity and stability. For instance, the densely packed nature of globular clusters suggests they formed under conditions that are not prevalent in the modern universe, likely within the intense gravitational fields that prevailed shortly after the Big Bang. Furthermore, 
By comparing these early clusters with the well-documented characteristics of open and globular clusters, astronomers can refine their models of stellar evolution and galactic formation. The high stellar densities suggest that these clusters formed in environments rich in gas and dust under intense gravitational forces that are not commonly observed in the current epoch of the universe. This setting could have facilitated the rapid formation of stars, contributing significantly to the luminosity and ionization needed to alter the cosmic fabric. Moreover, the discovery provides a direct observational link to the past, offering a tangible connection between the theoretical models of early galaxy formation and actual empirical evidence. It allows scientists to test and refine these models with real data, enhancing our understanding of how galaxies and their constituent star clusters evolved from simple gas clouds to complex, structured entities. These early star clusters could also serve as analogs for understanding more about globular clusters in our own and other galaxies. By studying their formation, lifespan, and eventual dissolution, Astronomers can gain insights into the life cycle of stars and the galactic ecosystem. This knowledge is crucial for piecing together the broader narrative of cosmic evolution, from the Big Bang to the present day. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey across time and space. Each discovery like this brings us one step closer to answering the age-old questions of where we come from and how the universe came to be.